Okay. Good. Nothing scientific behind it. No crazy machines, just basic movements, barbells, dumbbells. That's it. Thank you very much for tuning into the very first episode of my training video series, which is now also going to be available in English language too. Originally, I was only planning to do those videos in German to give the German fans something to watch other than the English spoken animal pack training videos of me out there. But I have received so many messages, Facebook comments and emails of people asking me to do those videos in English too. So here we are. I'm re-editing all the old episodes just for you guys. And I hope to meet your expectations. Thank you. What you're going to see in this episode is a chest workout that has been taped last year, about 16 weeks out from my pro debut at the Proc Pro, which means it has been taped right at the transition from an off season to a dieting phase, which doesn't really matter to me because my weight training does not change from off season to pre contest. The weights stay the same, the exercises stay the same, the rep ranges, everything pretty much stays basic and simple. The only thing that changes during pre-contest is the diet and the cardio regimen. After warming up, I usually start out with an incline compound movement, such as the incline dumbbell press. I work up to my working weight and I will do five sets with that. From the incline presses, I transitioned right into flat presses. No warm ups needed here. I used the same pair of dumbbells, and again, I'll do five sets there. And then I'll jump right into decline presses for another five heavy sets. Notice I'm not using the old school pyramid principle, but instead I warm up and then I will do five heavy sets with the working weight I have worked up to.
After all those heavy presses, I like to proceed with an isolation movement, such as the cable crossover. Here, I'm going a little lighter. Again, I'm doing five sets, 20 reps each. And the goal here is to always reach 20 reps on all five sets. The weight is picked specifically so that I'm not able to reach 20 reps on the first try and therefore I'm forced to incorporate things like drop sets or rest pause in order to reach the goal of 20 on each set. After that, we're moving on to one of my very favorite movements, the dumbbell pullover. As you know, for decades there has been this debate going on whether or not pullovers are able to expand someone's ribcage. If you ask me, they are, and I've gotten great results from them. Once again, I'm doing 5 sets of 12 reps. And again, I'm picking a weight that is too heavy for me to complete 12 reps all at once. And therefore, I have to incorporate some pauses at the end of the set.
we're finishing off the training session with five sets of dips. I don't count reps on this. I just go to failure on each set and then it's time to go home and eat. This 30 set training session takes me about an hour to complete and I will come back later at night for my second training session which usually is delts. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you were able to take something away for your own training. I'm always open for constructive criticism, so feel free to comment below and I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, this was Roman Fritz, goodbye.